All right, so um, we're going to learn. You can put your hands down. We're going to learn something uh, about something called strings. We've already been using strings. Every time we printed a piece of text in Python, that was a string. A string is a piece of text. So when we said print hello, that little hello in quotes, that's called a string in programming language. Um, and when we said uh, a variable name equals input, please enter your name, then what got stored in that variable was a string. So uh, yeah. that's that. Strings can be held inside of regular quotes or single quotes, the little apostrophes, or triple quotes. And the only reason you'd really want to use triple quotes is if you had a quote in what you wanted to put in the quotes. You know what I'm saying? So right here I said, when Mr. Hayes said, good morning, I realized class had started, and that was all inside triple quotes. So the triple quotes tell Python, we're doing a whole lot of stuff here, and just wait till you find triple quotes again. And until then, it's all one big string. And so then you're allowed to use a quote inside. Normally, you wouldn't be able to do that. Um, also, we use triple quotes when what you type in is going to be on multiple lines. So down here, I have the quote equals triple quotes. And then here's three lines of text and then triple quotes at the end. So that's all held inside of this variable, the quote. So you only uh, you, you, you have to use triple quotes in, in those situations. But you could always use triple quotes if you wanted to be difficult. But um, it's kind of a hassle on Replit because you type one quote and you get one or you get two. You type a second one, and then I forget what happens. But it doesn't. It never gives you the triple ones the way you want it. But, um, okay, so with strings, we have a function that will tell us how long the string is, and it's the length function, L-E-N. That stands for length. So if I have a variable and I put some text into it, in this case, I put Hayes inside of name. AJ, shh, AJ. Um, and I say print. L-E-N name, that's going to print how long the variable is. In this case, it would print four. And if I said print len, len what's up, it would print eight because that's eight characters. It, the, the question mark counts, spaces count. Um, so here's, uh, if you're checking the length of something like this, I did PWD for password equals input, please enter a new password. If the length of PWD is greater than 20, sorry, passwords are limited to 20 characters. That's an example. So L-E-N, and then put the string inside the parentheses. You know, um, get to see how long it is. We can add strings together. Uh, I've got first equals Frankie, last equals Liger. If I, if I say name equals first plus last, it just puts them together. It's not adding them like with math. It's just putting them together. That's called concatenation, the technical term. Uh, this is the same thing. A equals hello, B equals world. A equals A plus B. Now I got hello world. Questions? Okay, then we've got some other uh, commands. They're called methods. They're things we can do to strings uh, to get certain results. So we have a, a dot upper method which makes the string uppercase. We have a dot lower method, which makes it all lowercase. We have swap case, which makes it whatever it was, but opposite. So instead of capital M Monday, it's small m Monday in this case. We have one called center, which uh, centers the string in uh, some other characters. So I, so I said center Monday in 14 stars. So here, here that's what you would get there. Um, you know how sometimes when you did the run again, like, do you want to run again? And yes or no. And then the person typed no with like a capital N and then the program kept running. Um, this is a way to avoid that. Um, you can say R equals input run again. Yes, no. And then take whatever they entered, make it uppercase and see if it's equal to an uppercase no. And that way, if they entered small no or partly no or whatever no matter any any version of no upper or lower would would work fine here there's actually over 40 string methods it's crazy we're just going to focus on a few and here's here's here i'm showing you the ones i want you to know how to do uh, upper so uh you just do the variable name period upper and then open and close parens that that turns it to an uppercase um, 
You don't say upper parentheses name. We don't put anything in those parentheses. It's not like length. If you want to get the length, you have to say L-E-N and then the variable name. But for all these other ones, you have to put them afterwards. And we have lower. That makes a lowercase version. We have title, which makes the first letter uppercase and the rest lower. Uh, and here's an interesting point. If you want to replace a string with... You just, if you want to make it uppercase permanently, you can do something like this, name equals name dot upper. That takes the variable and replaces it with the uppercase version. If you just write a line in your program, name dot upper, that doesn't do anything. That, that, that makes an uppercase version and then throws it away. It doesn't print it. It doesn't store it. It doesn't. Um, here's another one called count. And it tells you how many times something occurs inside of a string. So here's a string Voldemort. And if I say name dot count with the letter O in quotes, it prints a two because there's two O's in Voldemort. And uh, if I ask how many V's there are, small V's, we'd get a zero because uh, there's, no, there's no small V's in capital V Voldemort. Um, if, I, if I search for capital V, then it would have returned one, right? Um, uh, almost done. We have one called rjust and its partner ljust. rjust stands for right justified. So if I take a name, a string like this, in this case, Hal, and I say name, print name dot rjust 20 comma space, it, it, it means we're going to have 20 spaces, but we're going to put Hal over on the right side of that. So like right over here. Um, or if I did do my name are just ten dollar signs, it's going to do ten spaces, put my name in there, but fill the rest of it up with dollar signs. But my name will be on the right. L just does the same thing, but puts your string on the left and then pads the rest out with whatever you ask. You'll get to try it in a sec. Seriously, almost done. Center centers your string inside of some character, a certain number of characters. So I've got Hal centering it in $13 signs. We've got Gangster Hal over here. Um, and replace takes two strings with a comma between them. Here I've got whatever, and I'm replacing all capital E's with the number three. So it would print this. Where the E's were, there'll be threes if you do the dot replace command. Okay, so I'd like you all to now get your hands on the keyboard, open a new REPL, call it day nine strings, and then I want you to try a couple of things before I post the assignment, and then we'll do the assignment. So open and, you know, log into REPL, make a new, uh, a new one, call it day nine strings. I just want you to practice um, while I'm practicing. And um, so we're going to create a new Python REPL, day nine strings in class, Hayes. You can get rid of this sidebar if you want. So I'd like you to, um, let's make a variable called text. And then let's do your name, upper and lowercase. You can do your first and last name with a space between them, but put a couple, put a capital letter in there. AJ, can you try this? Open up a new REPL and try a couple things. Thank you. So I want you to print the variable and then I want you to print it upper. And I'll put spaces. You don't have to put the spaces in, but just so you can see what's going on. And you can uh, you could copy this print upper line and paste it. 
let's do that like five times and let's change the second one to lower and let's make uh the next one center center you have to say in in what so let's say maybe 25 dollar signs and then let's do uh r just it's r j u s t uh and let's do 25 uh number signs for r just and then the last one let's use count and uh, pick a letter that shows up in your name once or more. I've got all my letters, they don't repeat. So I'm gonna just say, search for a letter A, account. Well, let's do one more after this, paste it one more time. Let's do a replace. And we're gonna, I'm gonna replace my A with a uh, capital A. No, I'm gonna replace it with uh, three exclamation points. All right, when you run this, you're gonna see all this stuff over on the side. So you have your name first, just as you put it in the string, and then you got it all uppercase, all lowercase. Here it is centered in $25 signs. Here's what, R just does. So R just, I did 25. So it, it, it set up a space of 25. It put my name all the way on the right and then it filled the rest up with number signs. Uh, the count method counted how many letter A's there were in there. I could, uh, 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 I could put my full name and there'll be two letter A's, right? Because there's one in the A in the Walt and there's one in the, uh, uh, Hayes, and that's, that's count. That's how you use count. And then I replaced all the letter A's with triple dollar signs. I mean, triple exclamation points. Uh, and then maybe just at the very end, print uh, text again, just so you can see your variable never changed through all that. Well, the replace did change it. I'm sorry. Oh no, it didn't. It never changed. Your variable was just sitting there, just getting, we were making copies of it and messing with the copies. But uh, so this isn't the assignment. This was just so you guys could use the commands while it was still fresh. So raise your hand if you need help. If something's not working, Richard's right here. I'm right here and I'm going to post the assignment. You guys can get started. It, it has, has you do some other things. I don't remember exactly what it is, but this was just practice. So when you're, when you're ready, you can select all in here, click, click in here, select all and, and delete it. And then you can do your program. Or you can keep this around for a little bit, but this isn't the assignment. This is uh, this is just uh, uh, it's practice. And uh, I'm gonna post. All right, I posted it. There's the slide deck on the assignment as well, so that'll be helpful. Let's take a look. So create a new REPL, name it day nine strings. We already did that. Put your name in a comment at the top, ask the user for their name, then their age, then their favorite letter of the alphabet. It's three different input calls. So you can right now delete this. Put your name at the top in a comment. I like putting the date there as well. I'm going to stop the recording because 